I'm so happy and grateful now that I have made the decision to shift my paradigm so that I can attract the good I desire into my life by rising to its frequency. Happy day four. I am at home in my office, I'm about to answer some emails. I am drinking some coffee. Honestly, I don't have any MCT oil in this coffee. I'm going to take my MCT oil later in the day via tea around the evening time before I start my fast. Um, it's one, one, one. Let me take a screenshot of this. This always happens to me. Ugh, I missed it. Anyways, um, I'm all about angel numbers. So, yeah. The 111 is that your guardian angels are with you, basically, I believe. Um, you guys do that? Take a look at it. But this is me in the morning. I'm checking emails. I'm listening to Bob Proctor on YouTube. This is his 30 minute um, affirmation. I'm trying to, not trying to, I am shifting my paradigm because I believe in the laws of attraction. And yeah, I'm gonna write out today, like for real. I keep saying I'm gonna do these things, I don't. So this is my vision board. I need to basically go through everything. And once I go through everything, I'm going to, yeah, put it all out. And the reason I'm uploading this to my fitness channel, I know it seems like a regular vlog, but the reason I'm uploading this to my fitness channel is because it takes a lot of mental strength and capacity to stick to your new program. And I am on day number four, and it seems like forever already. So um, day one, I biked. Day two, I biked. Day three, I did meditation, which was yesterday. And today, I'm going to bike. I'm going to take a 45-minute class on my Peloton. And I'm going to do some yoga today. I have never done yoga before. Um, I'm going to start with, like, the beginner's yoga in probably, like, 10 minutes. I just want to stretch, really. My back is kind of tight. And I think it could be one or two, well, one of three things. It could be that my cycle's coming on because I get back cramps on my cycle. It could be that... I've been lacking sleep. I haven't been sleeping. I told you on keto it's kind of hard. So I'm going to get that under control and then share with you dolls what it is that I do on keto to help with my sleeping. Um, yeah, it could be that. And that also when I'm up in bed, I usually hold my phone, which is heavy. And sometimes that can make my shoulder hurt, shoulder back hurt. Or it could be just that my body's sore because I have been active. So I don't know. I just wanted to show y'all what I'm doing I got on my workout clothes so that I can stay um, focused also get these from um, I got this from forever 21 this top which I love because I can wear it out in the streets without being too exposed and it's kind of cute the mesh and all it has like a built-in bra so yeah I one of the things okay let's talk about this we're talking about laws of attraction and changing your paradigm and making your surroundings so that you can stay true to what it is that you're trying to do as far as not trying what it is that you're doing with your goals in mind i know that it's a deterrent of mine to not work out whenever i don't have workout clothes or i can't find something fast so i've dedicated a drawer in my wardrobe which is straight up workout clothes only so i have tank tops sports bras matching two-piece outfits in case i want to wear it all day and, and make errands run errands i have the bottoms i have jackets i have long sleeve shirts and i also put my workout gloves in there i put my sweatband in there and i also put my um little bags like fanny packs so when i go running it's easy to grab in my cell phone arm holder so anything that has to do with working out i need to add my socks to that drawer somehow because honestly that's the last thing like i'll be all fully dressed ready to go have all my gear on and the next thing you know i can't find my socks and i cannot work out without socks like i just can't do it so yeah i got my wardrobe drawer set up so that i have no excuses today i got out of bed used the bathroom weighed myself and yeah went right to that drawer put these clothes on 
brush my teeth, put my hair in a bun, wash my face, and now I'm in here. And yeah, drinking my coffee. So I'm gonna share with y'all a little bit rest of my day, but this is where we are so far, so. Yeah. Ooh, a 45 minute ride with Tunde. Girl, I'm not there yet. Can't holla at you, but it's cool because we got the lights going. I'm all geared up. Um, got my water bottle. Let's choose a ride. I said that yesterday I did um, 30 minutes. So today, I mean yesterday I did 20 minutes. So today I'm going to do, ah, oh, it's my 50th ride. Oh, damn it. Should I wait to go live so I can get a shout out? That's in 14 minutes, but it's 45 minutes long. Oh my gosh. Girl, I can't. I'm sorry. Damn it. You see, they give shout outs on Peloton and I missed a shout out for my birthday because I was traveling. I was, I was the place where I was, they did not have um, a Peloton at the hotel. So I missed my birthday shout out. And honestly, I'm trying to get to 100. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and do an on-demand class and I am going to work my ass off between now and my one year anniversary with this bike, which is towards the end of November. So hopefully I can get 50 rides in by then and yeah, get my shout out for my 100 ride and my century ride. So, all right, let's choose a color. I'm gonna put on my heart rate monitor and let's get it popping. All right, and your girl is back. It says, great, you're in. Join class, a minute to start. My heart rate. Beautiful. Right now. Forty five minutes. Eighties ride coming up. How should I sweat? Grab some weight, grab water, grab a towel. Hey, okay, BGM. Everybody's giving me high fives. Hey girl. Who is that? Amani. We got Shell. Oh shoot. Hey. Alright, y'all, let me put this camera down because I need to get it's in the zone. Video. Thanks for exactly how I feel right now. I'm thinking about to lose control. Christy the dog, how are you fixing? Hey! <laughs> That's so exciting. Okay, so. Here we have some cabbage. I made cabbage with four slices of bacon. I put the oil inside of the cabbage and I did put a lot of water in here. That's why it looks like that. The reason why it's kind of orangey is because honestly, I use a lot of cayenne pepper and paprika. I don't even know why I put paprika in here. I was on the phone when I was cooking. So I think I just got sidetracked. I'm not even gonna lie, but that explains the coloring. But when I say this tastes so spicy and so delicious, it has butter as well because I'm trying to up my fat. So yeah. This is the cabbage. And then over here we have some chicken cooking up in the air fryer. Now the coloring that you're seeing is a little bit of curry. I did use some red spicy Jamaican curry in here. I did use some garlic powder, some pepper, some pink salt. I used a little bit of soy sauce and yeah. That's really it. So I toss it around in some olive oil and then I put it inside of my air fryer. I'm gonna go ahead and change it actually to 400. I had it on 360. I'll we'll put it on 400 and it says for 25 to 30 minutes. I had the air fryer set to 30 minutes and it says I have 20 minutes left. I'm gonna just go ahead and put like an extra five minutes on here. 
Um, but yeah, this is basically what I'm waiting for for dinner. Typically, I would add some cauliflower or I would add like a salad. I try to double up on my veggies with dinner because my breakfast, I'm pretty boring. I like it almost the same every time. But when it comes to vegetables, it's super, super important to get your magnesium and your potassium um, in. I take supplements as well, so I will show you dolls that at some point. The supplements that I take, but I usually take them after I eat well. So I typically do intermittent fasting. Now, I am a little behind schedule with fasting. I normally fast a 16 hour period and then I eat within an eight hour window. I probably won't eat until like nine o'clock. Um, being that it's so late, it's I think fine because I really haven't ate today until like my first meal today, which was just a sausage and a wrap and some mayonnaise and cheese. Um, I didn't record that because I felt like y'all are going to get really bored really fast with my foods. But um, long story short is that particular meal I ate around 3 o'clock. So honestly, I'm still within a window of five hours. So nine o'clock would be like a six hour window eating time. So I don't think it's that bad, but it is really good to try to stick to a schedule that's the same every day.